we are at the boat today and we are going to try and fasten two of these cleats to it so we have something to anchor the boat to a dock to. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so we're looking at putting them on roughly in line with the end of the rudder to uh, provide decent rear anchorage for tying it to the dock. We've, well, I've, we've already pre-measured a little bit to get our rough idea of where we need to go. And we're going to make sure that one is about the same distance and square and start drilling holes. Alright, we have our hole locations on both sides approximately square with each other and the tiller got the build drill bit in the drill and let's do our very first actual modification to the boat we have officially voluntarily put a hole in the boat the fiberglass is a little thinner than i expected or well not necessarily expected, but thinner than the bolts I got. I got one and a quarter inch bolts just in case because I wasn't sure. I didn't think they would be an inch thick, the fiberglass, but yeah, it looks like it's only about a quarter inch thick, so I think we're good. And now we have four holes on the boat. So they are pretty square and should work. So let's go ahead and throw the hardware on and pray everything lines up. I had to redraw the three holes just because the first one was off a little bit. So, yeah. Well, three out of four is pretty good. This one, you can see it's off just a hair. So I'm going to try and widen that up a little bit this direction. The amount it's off is fine. It's not going to be a big enough deal. The bolts will make up the difference. So let's get that hole widened. And all four fit in there perfectly. Now for the slightly more annoying part of putting the bolts on. They're nuts. These are nuts. Those are bolts. That is one of two shiny new pieces of hardware attached to the, the boat. It's pretty secure. It's only going to be used for attaching to a dock, but I don't think that's going anywhere anytime soon. It's going to take a lot to pull that out. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the other one. Okay, so because processes always improve, I've got the first one in here, and I think this time I'm going to just drill out the holes one at a time and place screws in them with the cleat on, because the drill bit clearance is just small enough to fit into the screw holes. And this way I can keep it aligned and I'm not going to have any funny holes out of alignment ever so slightly. So we're going to do it that way. Well, that worked better-ish. I'm not going to say it was 100% easier or better, but about the same. I feel like it was hmm, ever so slightly better, we'll say. Now, to put the bolts on on uh, these ones. The So you might be wondering, why am I using nut and bolts and not just screws, because screws would make this you know, easier. Well, I decided, I was actually recommended by a buddy of mine who owns a boat, that if you're adding anything to fiberglass, that it's recommended to, or he recommended to use a bolt and nut method instead of screws, because from the vibrations of a boat on the water, constantly shaking, things wiggle loose and over time deteriorate and just don't hold as well. 
I've actually got a screw over on that piece of hardware that is just free spinning because same thing it's just too loose and it can't be tightened back into the uh, location so I went with screw and bolts screws or nuts and bolts in order to fasten these onto the side of the boat.